Number 43, the three vectors in this figure over here have magnitudes A equals to 3 meters, B equals to 4 meters, and C equals to 10 meters, and angle theta is equal to 30 uh, degrees. What are the A, the X component and the Y component of vector A, the X component and the Y component of vector B, and the X component and Y component of vector C? If C equal to P times A plus Q times B, what are the values of P and Q? Okay, so this problem is not that hard to do. So vector A is just the magnitude of vector A times the cosine of the angle that it makes with the x direction. So let's call it theta 1 in the i direction plus the magnitude of the vector times the sine of the angle theta 1, not theta 2 theta 1 in the j direction. So in this case, the magnitude of the vector is 3 meters. The angle over here is 0. So the cosine of 0 is 1. So it's just times 1 in the i direction. Plus the sine of 0 is 0. Okay, so vector A is just 3 in the i direction. Don't forget to include the unit which is meters. So with this information, we can answer letter A and letter B. The answer of letter A, the X component is equal to 3 meters. Letter B, the Y component is equal to 0. That's the answer of letter B. For letter C, we need vector B, right? Yes, that's it. We need vector B. So vector B is equal to the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of the angle, which, which is, in this case, it is 30 degrees in the i direction, plus the magnitude of the vector times the sine of 30 degrees in the j direction. So this is equal to 4 times the cosine of 30, which is the square root of 3 over 2, plus plus 4 times the sine of 30, which is 1 over 2, the j direction. So vector b is equal to 2 square root of 3 in the i direction, plus 2 in the j direction, and it is in meters as well. So we can answer letter c. The x component of vector b is this one over here, 2 square root of 3 meters. Uh, okay, and for letter D, we need the Y component. So for letter D, we need BY, which is equal to 2 meters. Okay, so this is the answer of letter D. For letter E and F, we need vector C. So we need this angle over here. So since this angle is 90 degrees, 90 plus 30 equals to 120 degrees. So for letter E, vector C is equal to the magnitude of vector C times the cosine of 120 degrees in the i direction plus the magnitude of the vector times sine of 120 degrees in the j direction. So replacing the letters by the numbers, we can find that this is equal to minus 5 in the i direction plus roughly 8.66 in the j direction. So the answer of letter E, so Cx is equal to minus 5 meters. The answer of letter F is Cy, which is equal to 8 Point six six meters. Okay, now we have to find P and Q for letter G and letter Q. Okay, so it says over here for letter G that vector C is equal to P times A plus Q times B. So let's replace this. So we have that, okay, so let's start over. So we have over here that, so let's write vector C. So minus five 
in the i direction plus 8.66 the j direction is equal to 3 times p in the i direction plus 2 square root of 3 times q times q in the i direction plus 2 times q in the j direction right that's what we have here so the only component in the right side of the equation that have j hat is this one over here and this is the j over that side so we can figure out that 8.66 is equal to 2 times q so q is equal to 4.33 uh, that's it it's it is for uh, it is equal to 4.33 okay so now we have q so we can solve this red part of the equation so we have that so this is the answer of letter a right so for letter g we have that minus 5 is equal to 3 times p plus 2 square root of 3 times q which is 4.33 so p is equal to minus 5 minus 2 square root of 3 times 4.33 over 3 so solving this equation over here we find that the value of p is equal to minus 6.67. So this is the answer of letter G and this is the answer of letter H.